the new game of the month is here. So let's check it out. But first, a little news. What's going on, everyone? It's Rich Haywood here for Bacon Ice Cream Productions and Team RTFC welcoming you to yet another episode of Good Times with Vetra Rich and Fun for Five. That's right. We are here. We are ready to play the new game of the month. But I did say there was a little news. There was a little news. So let's uh, let's check in and take a look at that, that news. It's just really simple. The Duke Deep Dive video is out. So go watch it. I mean, watch this and then go watch that. But, you know, check out the Duke Deep Dive video on Duke Nukem 1 and 2 Remastered. Was really cool. I'm not exactly sure what the delays and stuff was. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it was, you know, they, they had people doing different voice recordings and maybe they weren't like around and some logistics issues or whatever. But really cool stuff in the video. I don't want to spoil it too much. I do want to emphasize, though, that you guys should really watch the entire thing to see how much effort is being put into this remaster. It's pretty cool. And we will definitely, of course, talk about it a little more on the Evercast. Yes, there's your Evercast preview. Um, the Duke Deep Dive videos. Out. I'm sure we're going to watch it all and we'll do the commentary and we'll do all the other fun stuff there. But it's cool. And I'm, I'm pumped. Um, no changes also in release date. They, they dated it right at the end of November. Said everything's all good. There's no delay. There's no whatever. I mean, we'll see. We'll see. You know, like things happen. But for right now, everything's smooth sailing. Um, and November's going to be a stacked month. I mean, right at the end of October, we're getting a whole bunch of stuff. Then we're going to get a whole bunch of stuff two weeks later. And we're going to get more stuff at the end of the month with uh, Atomic Edition and Duke and, and all that stuff. It's going to be just absolutely bonkers. So um, definitely check out that vid. And, you know, there you go. And then check out the Evercast, because, of course, we're going to be talking about it there, too. But we are now ready to rock the new game of the month. So let's hit this button and check it out together. All right, here we go. Here's my Pico collection staring me in the face saying, hey, where are you going to play uh, Canon? And my answer is, I don't know. I mean, I'm going to. It, it'll happen, but come on, guys. But right now, Aura Body, Binder's Tale, or Bender's Tale? Either one, is October's game of the month. Um, it looks like it's a platformer for one player. It's available, of course, until November. And what is it? It says, Orbani Bender or Binder's Tale is a platformer for one player. Uh, we're going to go with Bender. Yeah. Bender is a robot who wants to, who is cast out of the floating automation, automaton city of Galvinstad. Man, lots of hit me right here in the, in the, er, the late part of the day. Um, and his presence seems to be, seems to have brought, to, brought trouble to the surface dwellers of the planet Orobani. Okay, what, what kind of what kind of a uh, trouble? Let's see. Battle your way back up to Galvinstad and discover the truth behind the fold aggressors. Blast the robot invaders in your path and collect power ups from flying machines to improve your firepower. And remember, don't fold. Bind. Yes, binder. Okay, so it is binder. Stuff. Okay, got it. Bind. Binder. Got it. All right. History, Binder's Tale is part of a transmedia franchise that creator John Vander Hove, I guess, is building based around the Orobody setting. The intent is to span the universe in not only video games, but comics, novels, and animation. So, like, this could be, like, a start of a thing. Kind of like an odd world. Thinking that kind of thing, maybe? I don't know. Katie says, do your best to conserve your lives as much as possible. Learn enemy attack patterns and carefully avoid them. This sounds to me... Katie, Katie, looking at you, it sounds to me like this game is going to whoop me because I am terrible at platformers that require some kind of precision or careful anything. That's why I like Doodle World so much. You can just jump around, have fun. Even if you lose a life, you get, get like 10 more. Anyway, um, all right, cool. It's Jump, Fire, Pause, Move, Bender, Binder, Binder. Binder. I'm going to say it 12 different ways in the rest of this video. Um, all right, cool. So we're going to hit play. 
on Binder's Tale or Rabani. Let's go. Oh, very, uh, it's very, like, one of those things. It's, like, brooding. All right, I'm done with it. Published by, Pro okay, yeah. Music and effects by Jordan Davis. Okay, cool. Wow. Novice, advanced Bosch Rush, music box. That's cool. You can play all the music. And credits. Oh, okay. So you just... You gotta go all... You hit down a whole bunch of times to get to cycle, because apparently up is not a, not a menu option. Alright. Let's go. They called the planet Orobody because of its rich uh, underground researchers. Not its real name, but it sticks in the mouth. Uh, species from across the verse have been gathered here squabbling over land bees and war but the but while but while organics both alien and native fight for the surface and what's below the technocratic fold observes from above in the floating city of galvanstad an impenetrable enigmatic fortress where the senate the sentient artificial life forms dwell and this is heavy the story is heavy right away Nobody knows where the city where the city or the fold came from, nor what unholy calculations occur beyond the walls of the Galvinstad, as the nomadic stronghold circles or a body like a cold, cruel, silent satellite. Man, this is really getting dark. Was it like a skynet in the sky or something, maybe? Despite the looming threat, the various factions on Orobani mostly ignore the robots in the sky. What harm have they ever done besides the rare skirmish or fishing uh, village raid anyway? So, the floating city remained a mystery, un unreachable, and closed off from the daily life of most folks on the planet. And, but for one error, things have remained that way indefinitely. I guess you are the error. Alright. The old tinkerer Fargal, a wandering kook to most, found a small robot in a heap of in a heap amidst the brush, he'd seen it fall from the sky and tossed like a trash from a Galvin's dead parapet. Man, these words, too. It took years to bring the spark of life back to the robot's eyes. Fargal traveled aura body with his me new metal fan, eventually naming it Binder. Yes, we're going to go with that now. Um, for a time, the two were inseparable. Then one night, while passing through a vi village, um, in this, wow, in the Stracadolum, Strac, Stracadolum, Stracadolum, sure, forest, uh, their peaceful walkabout ended, the fold descended from, from the skies, raining fire on all below without reason or mercy. Jeez, Jeez a loop. <laughs> To protect them both, Fargal pulled Binder unto, under the hollow of a tree. The, he consoled the small robot, told him everything would be okay. Um, but a slight crack followed by a sizzle was all it took to fell the old man. Oh, no! No, guy! Oh, a laser had cut through the tree. Oh, no! Pierce it got him in the heart, man. Oh. <laughs> I feel sad for the old man now. Oh, he collapsed. Okay. Don't fold, the old man said, tapping the robot's head, bind. And then his body grew as inert as Binder's alloy shell. Bindo furrowed his metal brow. He's sad. Sad, Binder. He also looked like Dark Dr. Light there. Just saying. All right. Um, Binder didn't know who or what was responsible for Fargo's death. <clears throat> he had no memory of his time in the floating city, but Binder was going to make things right, even if he had to play his way through every, through the, to the very heart of Galvinstad. All right, what a, what a like opening. And here we are going in here. Oh, all right. So this is basically Mega Man. Okay. Oh, you can shoot straight up. That's cool. Ooh, that's 
pretty cool. Music is rad. I mean, if you're gonna, oh, this is, is this a one hit and you dead game? Oh no, no. It's like Mega Man meets Contra and that's not great for Rich. Oh, I can duck, okay, good. But still, still not great. Music's rad though. Absolutely rad. Oh. There we go. Oh. Ooh. That's fun. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right, going down here. Observer anomaly does unauthorized rogue hardware protocol reclaim or destroy under and anomaly ring. Okay. Oh, what? <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Oh, please hit him in like four hits or something. Don't don't make me hit this thing like 12 times. Oh, come on! It's not friendly. There we go, I got him! Ooh. It's like a kind of like a spread shot. I mean, are you serious? Like, that? it's like, here, fight another one of these things that was the boss? Wow. Wow. I'm out of here. This game is not playing around. I'll tell you that. I'm just gonna go. You keep putting these things here. Really don't like it. Don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. Oh, come on! Binder became scrap. Metal for the fold. Start to continue select to quit. We're going to the wrap-up. Wow! Alright, guys. So, that was Orobody Binder's Tale. Platformer for one player. Wow. So, first things first. Certified good times, find the fun. Yeah, but not great. Where are we at? Where are we at on this? Mm. 
It's close, though. It's close to a yeah, but. I'm telling you. It's fun. It, I, I did have some fun. But it's that game. It's that game. See, Katie was right. I was I was I was talking to Katie. Katie was like like whispering in my ear. I was like, "Hey, this game's gonna rock you in the face." And I'm like, "I don't want it to rock me in the face. I want to just play a cool game and hop around and have fun." We're like, "No, no, no. Look at look at me. That's not this game." Yeah. Well, it wasn't this game. It wasn't that game. But it was still fun. You know, it definitely feels like that. It's you know, it's it is that whole like a Mega Man ish kind of thing <clears throat> but they load you up on lives and the lives are basically your health and then it, when you get to the end it's it's whatever you know continue or go i mean so it's like mega man with the contra life system and you get more and it, I've, i earned some somehow i don't know if it was points or like some arbitrary figure in the background i don't know if i've had a pickup not sure but <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, like I said, yes, I had fun, but it's not like the, it's like a, it's not like amazing fun. It's not like I'm like, oh yeah, let's go, um, kind of thing. Yeah, you know, on the list, um, most of the games in this series so far, leading up to the eventual release of the Indie Heroes Three Collection. I mean, who knows? Maybe I get the collection. I've played it on the second run, run through, and now it's like super amazing or whatever. But, you know, they, a lot of other people will probably like this. And if you're a fan of those brutally hard, crazy thing like Ninja Gaiden and Mega Man and Contra and all that, kind of, I mean, I'm sure you're going to have a blast. I'm sure. I'm sure of it. Um, but, man, like, I'm really cool, like, really, like, into the whole, like, cool story thing. I'm in. I'm in there, but um, I don't know. Yeah, maybe I'll, maybe I'll play it again, and then we'll see uh, see what happens. See if it changes the needle or whatever. But this is perilously close to a yeah, but just putting it, just throwing it out there. What do you guys think though? Let me know down below in the comments. Um, let's kick this off. Let's talk about it. Let's do some some cool stuff about this. Um, lots of new content, right? Like lots of new content. And I still have like a ton, ton of stuff. Um, some of it's like still in the editing queue, ready to come out. I mean, I don't know what's gonna happen. I know I well I know what's gonna happen. Towards the end of the week, I'm probably gonna edit it all out, and then like for the next two weeks, you guys are gonna get the fire hose. Well, that's what's, what's gonna happen. We got a little bit of a lull. You know, it's not next week that we're gonna get some of the carts. Actually, maybe it is. Maybe we're gonna get the the two because the, the shipping notification happened for the Sunsoft bundle. So I think we're gonna get that. So that'll be an unboxing at least. Um, we're gonna do some more Evercade. We're gonna get back into the Pico. The Picos, we're gonna play that. You know, we're gonna have we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna have some fun. But, um, but yeah, I mean, and, and I still gotta catch up with the the Atari stuff. I mean, man, we got Locana going on. I got I got cards. I open packs on. I gotta show you guys what's in them. All sorts of fun stuff happening. But time is the one commodity that I do not have a lot of. So we will get there. Uh, trust me, that's I'm like so much footage, <laughs> so much, but um, but yeah, we'll we'll be there as soon as as soon as we can. So um, I appreciate everyone hanging in and uh, and still commenting and all that kind of stuff. I will be there to comment back as soon as I can too as well. Um, you guys were awesome in the comment section for the news line yesterday. I got to get back in and then answer like all like a crazy amounts of you. Um, so thanks for that. But until then, we've reached the end of a video here on bacon ice cream productions you know what that means we have to do one thing one thing only and that's thank every single member of the good times club because they are so awesome so let's do it right now thank you to the ever canadian crimson cross george games chris westerman fan and fiction skeletrex lloyd r gem papa p the intellivision gamer ken liqueur and mr shua and even legacy member carson because you know why not we'll just say thanks all right so Thank you guys all again for your watching. Thank you to the Good Dives Club for your support and getting us cool things like 1080p videos like this. And until next time, we will catch you next time for some good times. I'm Rich, and we will see you later. And yeah, I mean, it's still it's still coming. I, I mean, I think there's another thing that's coming out this week. I don't know. But we'll see there. We'll, we will 
We will work very hard to catch up and see you guys all there. All right. And don't forget, guys, at, uh, watch Atari VCS stuff. Atari VCS stuff is coming soon. So we'll see you then. See you. Take it, ice cream, dot com.